guys, so I'm really thrilled to do, thrilled? Whoa. To do this video today. Um, I feel like I always start out like that, but I try to like always, um, it just comes out naturally because I really try to just do things that I like and I love handbags. I am a handbag girl. I do have some heels and some shoes, but I would say, you know, if you would say I'm a handbag girl, I'm a shoe gal, I would much rather spend money on handbags. Um, that's just how I am. Like, I'll get the cheapest, well, not cheap, like I, I try to find things that are nice but that are affordable clothing wise because you know you wash them, they're, they're not going to last like a bag will. Um, and then I'll splurge on handbags and things like that. Things that I know will hold their value that if you ever wanted to sell you could. You know over the years I've kind of, I've gone through a lot of different like higher end handbags, especially Louis Vuitton and I will, you know, I can really see what I like and what I don't because you know, there's some that I've just held on to over the years that I really bond with that I would just never get rid of. And I've said that about a few things that were kind of newer when I said that and then I ended up getting rid of them. But this is a bag that I've had for about four years now, maybe even a little longer than that. It's the Eva Clutch. It looks like so. And I don't believe I've ever done a video just dedicated to this bag. Now that I said that, I'm like, have I? I don't know. Um, but no, I definitely haven't recently. And after having a bag that long and carrying it quite a bit, I think that it's a good basis to like or you know it's good to be able to to review something like that or to trust somebody that's that's had it for that long so if I ever go to buy an expensive bag I will always go to YouTube to see it in action and stuff like that so this is basically this is what this is for I'm gonna kind of be reviewing it and kind of talking about it a little bit, showing you guys how I wear it and how it's held up when I got out of college I was a very big big handbag person. Hobos, giant bags. Um, so for me to really love smaller bags mostly now is a huge thing. Um, I, you know, was carrying my never full GM like all day every day for years and that was just what I was used to. That's a huge bag. If I carry it now I feel like I'm like swimming like what do I put in it? I have like one little thing that I put in it because I've gotten used to carrying things in smaller bags. And um, when I was pregnant I thought okay well you know, after Olivia comes, I'm going to just, you know, my small handbags are going to go out the window. I find I'm using them so much more now. Um, I have a, her diaper bag that's always full. It's a nicer diaper bag. I love it. Um, I can actually carry that, and I am comfortable with that as a bag because it's so nice anyways. But I find that a lot of times um, it's in her stroller. It's in the bottom. You know, I've got everything that she needs in it. It's perfect for all of her gear. And um, I can put my things in it if I want, but I find myself mostly having a bag that is my own as well. I've been carrying this one a lot too, and this is the Chanel Wild on a Chain. I do have a video all about this. Um, I got this one last October, and I posted a video about it. I carried this so much when I was pregnant. This is an awesome bag. Um, but I just kind of, these are my two small bags, and I just kind of wanted to talk about them. Mainly focusing on the Eva. So, um... So yeah, lately I've just been using this a ton, and I do carry my Chanel Boy a lot. I have not talked about that a lot. Um, a lot of you guys have asked to see a review on that on Instagram or what I have inside of it. If you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, if you don't like these types of videos, I don't know why you're watching anyways, but <laughs> hopefully if you're here, then you're enjoying this. Um, I wouldn't be watching something that I didn't enjoy, so I hope that you guys, um, that you guys like this. So when I got this, um, this is what turned me into a small handbag person. Yes, it's small, but it holds a ton. Um, it comes in this, which is the um, Damier Ebony, or it comes in the Damier Azor, which is the blue and, you know, whitish ones. I've never owned any like that. Um, I'm just terrified that they're going to fade, and I do not like the way that those look when the... Um, of course, with this one, you don't have to... That's what I love about the Damier Ebony, because you don't have to worry about the leather turning. Um, when the Vachetta leather turns um, on the Azor ones, the lighter blue ones, I don't like the way that looks. I think those only look good when the leather is, like, white. Not white, but, you know, like, really light and new. Um, with the Monogram, I don't care. I don't care if it's light or if it's dark. I think they always look great. Um, but it not, and then it also comes in a Monogram. Um, and the monogram one does not have this huge plate. It has a smaller plate. Lately, I have really been wanting that one, um, but I've been I've been resisting. I believe these are around seven something, um, seven hundred something. I think when I got it, mine was seven fifteen or seven. But the price, you know, goes up, so I believe it's a bit more now. That might be like a my birthday's in July. That might be my birthday ish 
thing. I've been really digging the monogram lately, and I was always like this, you know, but now I'm really liking the monogram pieces. Okay, so this is how you can wear it. Um, you can kind of see how it hits. Let me turn the slide off. Um, you can kind of see how it hits. Very classy. I like it that it's brown, but I wear it all the time with black. Literally wear it with anything. Um, you know, the strap has held up incredibly well. There was a time when I carried this bag like nonstop for probably six or eight months, and it's held up beautifully as it should. Um, there's absolutely nowhere. I mean, I looked the other day. I could not find anything on it. It looks like a brand new bag. And the inside of it is red, and I will show you what all fits inside of it, still with room to spare. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this guy. Of course, you can also take the strap off and carry it like this, and you can make a little loop on this end and carry it as literally a clutch. I do have a huge keychain. Let me go get my keychain so I can really show you. Okay, I went to get my keychain. Right now it's a little ridiculous because I've got this big poof on it, but normally it's just... Um, this, I've had this forever too, I love these, uh, and it can just go straight in. Um, and if not, I'll hang the poof out. What I like about this is that there's so much hardware on this bag. But what I do a lot of times is, like I said, the keys would fit if it didn't have the poof, but I, I love the poof. So I'll take the giant like clasp that's on the poof, and I will just clip it to um, some of the hardware on the bag and it just sort of hangs. So that's an option too, if you have a giant keychain and you're worried like, but you know, if I didn't have the poof, I could put it in. Even with the poof, let me show you. I can, um, move this to the side. I can put this in and I'll show you what all is in here in a moment. And then we get them going the right direction. And then you can uh, do that deal. And it's to organize it a little bit better but just keeping it real you know you could do it like that okay um so yeah I would say when people ask about like Louis Vuitton bags or anything what's your favorite I would honestly say out of all of them that I have I love my never full that's just one of those bags that I just love because it's just great great travel bag you can take it to the beach to I mean I have taken mine little literally everywhere it's been like shoved under seats on planes it's been in overheads it's been to everywhere with me you could imagine, um, and it still looks amazing. So, I don't know, I, just, I think that this, the ebony ones really hold up well if you think that you're rough on bags. But um, yeah, and don't worry about the brown because I don't wear any brown shoes really, and um, this literally goes with everything. So, uh, yeah, good, good bag. And like I said, um, it's expensive, but Compared to Louis Vuitton, it's it's affordable. When you consider that a lot of their smaller bags, I don't really think look very like handbaggish. Like this one, I wear and I don't think oh, I'm wearing a small bag. Like I really love this, like as a just a bag. Um, and I'll compare it kind of to the wallet on a chain in just a second. Okay, so in here, this is what I got. I've got my um, little what is this called? The uh, multi carts. Which I think it was a limited edition item. I know when I got mine, they ordered mine for me um, through the customer service uh, from Louis Vuitton at, from New York. So, um, but yeah, just a smaller, but it's a very fat little thing. It fits perfectly in there. Um, my phone, which I do have a Mophie case on it. It's a Mophie Air, so it's a little lighter, a little less bulky. But, um, but yeah, so that makes the phone a little larger. And it fits perfectly. Like I said, I still have room to spare. My keys even fit in here. I have my little diptyque rollerball. Just trust me on this. The um, the Lombre Dons Low with a little swan on it. It's good stuff. It's like the best scent of all times. Um, and then my Buxom lip gloss and Amy. I never go anywhere without my Buxom glosses. That one's almost done. And then the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, which I really like. I don't apply a lot of powder throughout the day, but I like having the mirror. And then if something is a little wonky, I can just, you know, kind of go around with it and not feel like it's heavy. So let me put all my stuff back. Um, and I have a little appointment card for my dermatologist. Uh, so, just to get an idea of what it holds, that's what it holds. You could probably even maybe put definitely a bigger phone in there. Um, like you see, I have a lot of space left. There's a lot. It's definitely not stuffed at all. I like the way the sides of these look. Um, I would say that if you 
Like I said, if you're if you're going from being a large handbag person to a small, this is I think what I would <laughs> go with. Now, compared to the wallet on a chain, if someone said you had to pick one bag, hands down I would pick this one. This is just my favorite. The wallet on a chain, though, I love. I love this bag. Like I know I sound like a now I'm wishy wash about this. No, I absolutely love. This is like one of my all time. I love this bag so much. But. Um, and I'll show you. I have a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go into this. But with a wallet on a chain, yes, it's a smaller bag. You can kind of see it does that. You can fold it up. Like, I, you know, I showed you so many different ways you can wear this in that video. Um, with the wallet on a chain, though, you can't put that Louis Vuitton little wallet in here. You know, you actually, you, you use this as the wallet. That's what it is. You put your cards in here. Um, one time I didn't want to switch out of that wallet, so I tried to put it in here and nothing else would really fit. So that is the one downside. Once everything is in here, no problem. But I think the thing is, is, um, when I go from like that or any other bag where I'm carrying my little wallet to this, I do have to take everything out and put it in here. So you have to kind of commit to this for a few days, uh, cause you don't want to be switching your wallet stuff back and forth, cause that to me is annoying. Um, but... But I love this. Like, when I do wear this, I'll switch into it and wear it for, like, months. Um, and I kind of thought about doing that today because I thought it would look really cute with this black. But I actually think I'm going to wear my boy bag today. Um, I don't know, though, because I have a couple things that I need to bring with me today. And I need a little bit more space. Do you have anything else to say about this other than that it's awesome? I think that it's kind of a must for anybody that, like, really likes Louis Vuitton things. And if you're, you know, just having a bag this size... Is great. It's versatile. I've worn this to, um, I think when we went to Disney World, I brought this and it was perfect. I took this, uh, like out to dinner and to, to different parks when I knew I didn't want like a big bulky bag. Um, when it was just Brad and I, you know, going, but this, this I think is, um, definitely a must have. And like I said, I really, really would like to have it in the monogram now. Um, so I'm going to be I'm going to think about it though. Not sure, but I, I do kind of want that, but I'll think about it. I don't know if I want that or if I want like more of a tote style because the delightful that I had, that delightful GM that I had years back, I got rid of. Um, I just was like, I loved it when I got it, but then I was just kind of like, I don't know. And so I got rid of it. And now I kind of wish that I had a bag kind of like that again, like a, like a tote style Louis Vuitton. That's, that's monogram. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I want to go for the clutch. I definitely don't want to get both at this point because I'm trying not to just buy bags and you know, I like what I've got. Um, but I don't know, but that is really, I'm trying to think of anything else to say about this. It's still hot as hell in here. Like when I was getting ready today, I had like the fan like blasting. Our, they should be coming today to fix it. We've been waiting on that part for our AC for like um, a week, so. I get up here, I get ready like early in the morning, like right now when it's cool. And then by like lunchtime, it's literally 86 degrees up here. So I like avoid this area of the house. Um, we just stay downstairs all day. You know, if there's there's any bag that I can really say 100% I recommend, it would be this. This is just, it makes me feel good every time I carry it. It just feels good. It's comfortable, carries plenty doesn't weigh you down, it's perfect. So um, definitely check that out. And I'm not saying, you know, go out and you, you have to buy these expensive things. I'm saying, you know, embrace smaller handbags. There's a lot out there. Um, I may have even talked about that in a video before the Eva. Um, but, you know, after having it for so long, I think it's kind of fun to, to kind of come back and show you how it's held up and to talk about it and stuff. And I'm still loving it just as much as I did when I got it, obviously. I want to get it in more colors. Um, not the Azor. The only thing that I think I want the Azor one in, um, the lighter Dami print, is uh, I really like the smaller Speedies like that. But like I said, I just I don't like them once they start turning. I don't think that print looks good once it starts turning. So, and that's inevitable. They do all do that. And I'm obviously going to keep mine for years. So that's why I've never really spent money on any of those. Uh, but that's it. Um, embrace some smaller bags from super affordable ones. You can get like so many fun colors and like brighten up your wardrobe with that. Like I did with that Chanel bag. Like I love that pink Chanel bag because I don't really wear a lot of color. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't want to look super cheesy all the time. Not that that looks cheesy, but um, you know, with that bag and I'm, you know, but whatever, you know, do whatever you want. I just, I like to wear like I just like to dress easy. Um, I'm not saying that's what looks best, but I'm saying that's what I like. 
it's just easier for me to dress and I just that's always what I go toward I do like the look of colors and things like that in clothing but I'd rather you know add that with my accessories and stuff it's just easier but um, anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely check out that particular bag if you're looking for anything like I described. Um, don't be afraid of it if you're a mom like me. Uh, you can put your essentials in it. It's just so sleek and small and you can still carry a diaper bag or carry, you know, baby's essentials and something else and then have your things close by. And it's not super bulky so, you know, when you hold your baby, it's not going to be like all in the way like a giant tote bag would or something. Um, so that's what I have found is working for me. Um, if you do want to see the wallet on a chain video in more depth, those come in all different colors and all different styles. Um, might be hard to find the particular one that I have, but I do have a video all about that, and I will link to that below. And um, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this. You know, and if you were one of the people that requested this, I hope this was helpful if you're looking for one of those bags for yourself. I really, really think that most people would um, would really, really like that bag. Again, whether you're a huge handbag person or a small handbag, you'd definitely love it. So anyways, I will let you guys go. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.